I'm John Gore, SCR's Associate Artistic Director, and I'm here to talk to you about Office Hour. So imagine you're an adjunct professor of creative writing at a large state university, and then a new semester starts and in walks this kid, young man, and you know as soon as you see him he's trouble. He wears a hoodie pulled down tight around his head, he wears dark glasses, he sits in the back of the classroom, he never says a word, won't answer questions, but even more troubling than the way he stares at you and the way he refuses to talk is his writing itself. It's horrible in every sense of the word. Badly put together, full of shocking violence and graphic sexuality. This kid is bad news, and that impression is confirmed by two of your colleagues who have had him in, in their classes before you, and they are convinced that he's a time bomb that could go off at any moment. They also think you're the person to fix the problem. That's the situation that Gina finds herself in. But the funny thing is Gina thinks she might actually have a chance of reaching this kid. She feels an odd sort of empathy for him, a connection to him that hits closer to home than she even realizes at first. So she decides to have a meeting with him. She calls him to her office, but she can't possibly be prepared for what's going to happen to her when the kid in the dark sunglasses and hoodie shows up for office hour. 